custom Android skins add a lot of features and functionalities on top of vanilla Android software. But along with it, you get bloatware apps or waste apps that don't do much, come filled with ads, send pesky notifications, or sometimes are even duplicates. Which is why we were really curious to find out the bloatware situation across Android brands in the country. So we tested 16 brands and 26 phones in total. Now, after analyzing this extensive data, we've bunched these phones into three distinctive categories. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Hi, I'm Ershad. You're watching Track and Tech English. Let's uninstall the mess on our phones, shall we? Now, starting with the good, and that includes brands like OnePlus, Samsung, Motorola, Nokia, Micromax, Lava, and of course, Google. Now, while Google doesn't officially sell the Pixel in India, we still used it to find what is the ideal for you know the least amount of apps that are pre-installed on a phone. And the Pixel 6, rightly so, comes with the least amount of pre-installed apps of all the phones that we've tested for this particular video. Now, there are a few apps that some could consider as inessential apps and that could be tucked away within settings. But you know what? I find them pretty inoffensive and you can kind of live with it. Anyway, moving on from the Pixel, I was really surprised to see that Micromax and Lava only have a few more pre-installed apps than the Pixel. And interestingly, Micromax has absolutely zero wasteful apps pre-installed when you set it up for the very first time, which is such a clean experience. That said, I must bring attention to the fact that the software update situation and the security patch situation might not be great on these two brands. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. Now, Asus offers a near stock Android experience as well. There are a few third-party apps pre-installed, but you can uninstall them. And there are absolutely no inessential first-party apps pre-installed, which is a great thing. Now, the brands that I've mentioned till now are the only brands that have fewer than 30 apps pre-installed when you start your phone up for the very first time. I really want to give these brands a standing ovation for not clouding up our internal storage and giving us the freedom of choice to download the apps of our choice. Now, before we move on, I would like to say that such videos take a lot of time and effort to actually find, research, analyze the data, and of course, present it to you in a very easy to consume way. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys could hit that red subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it. And if you like the video, if you watch it till the end, don't forget to share it with your friends and family because it could really help them make the right purchase when they're buying an Android phone. Now moving on to the next set of phones in the good category and we are at Samsung, one of the leading smartphone brands in the world. I'm really glad to report that if you follow all the steps right, you will end up installing only 31 or 32 apps on your phone. We tested that on the Galaxy S22 and the Galaxy M33 5G and that's the maximum number of apps that Samsung pre-installs. Now, of these 31, 32 apps, only two apps are third-party apps, but what I did find annoying is the fact that OneDrive cannot be uninstalled from the phone. Samsung is the only brand that does that even today. Also, what's annoying are some of the unnecessary pre-installed first-party apps, such as, you know, Samsung Free, My Galaxy, and more. And again, I'd like to reiterate that if you are not careful, you will end up installing a lot of apps and a lot of unnecessary first-party and third-party apps, mostly from the likes of Samsung and Microsoft. So you have to be really careful during the setup process. Now, Motorola and OnePlus are the final two brands in this list of good phones where you get the you know minimum amount of bloatware pre-installed. Now, the total number of pre-installed apps on these phones ranges anywhere between 37 to 41 apps, which is fairly okay. Now, these phones have more apps pre installed compared to the previous phones in this list, not because they have many third-party apps pre-installed, but because they have many first-party apps, which could very well have been features inside the setting app themselves. They don't need a separate app for it. Also, the ColorOS code base integration in OnePlus's Oxygen OS now means that you get three files app, one from Google, one from OnePlus, and one from Oppo. That's just plain stupid. But all of the brands in the good category, thank you so much for providing us the cleanest experience out of the box. You can easily consider one of these brands if you are someone who doesn't like a lot of pre-installed apps on your phone. On to the phones that either install a lot of third-party apps or a lot of crappy first-party ones. Starting with the bad list. Now, Xiaomi and Poco are two brands in this list that have anywhere between 49 to 51 apps pre-installed. 
of which six apps are third party apps. But you also get unnecessary first party apps, which includes apps like Zilli, MePay, MeCredit, and more. Also, I really do not like that pre installed security app on Xiaomi Poco and Redmi phones. Also, in the bad list are Infinix and, you know, Techno phones, which of course are from the parent transient group of phones. The problem with these phones are not the pre installed Facebook and WPS Office apps, which of course can be uninstalled as well, but the crappy first party ones. There are just way too many of them. I mean, who really needs apps like AHA Games, We Life, and Yo Party? Now, the worst part about these apps is that if, say, for example, you wanted to uninstall the Mi Credit app on the Poco X4, you cannot do that. If you wanted to uninstall Yo Party on the Infinix 05G, you cannot do that either. Many of these first party pre installed apps are uninstallable. So, my request from these brands, Infinix, Techno, Xiaomi, Poco, and Redmi, is that please fix this situation. Now, coming to the phones that install so many first party and third party apps that it almost feels exploitative. Welcome to the ugly side of the bloatware situation on phones, and we have brands like Vivo, Aiku, Oppo, Realme. Yep, the BBK clan. Now, Realme and Oppo come with at least 10 to 14 pre installed third party apps. That is quite a lot. And the worst part is that a lot of these apps also throw pesky notifications too. I really don't understand why apps like Mod, ShareChat, Josh, and Booking.com should be pre installed on my phone. That's not it. Inessential first party apps are also pre installed aplenty on these phones. And to note that apps like Finchel Pay and HeyFun cannot be pre installed is absolutely frustrating to me. Now, the situation is similar on Vivo and iQoo phones as well. Only that there are fewer third-party apps pre-installed, but yeah, the situation is very bad. And while the fact that there are so many bloatware apps pre-installed on this phone itself is an ugly situation, it's even uglier when, uh, you know, premium flagship phones also come with these apps pre-installed. It really irks me that phones like the Realme GT2 Pro, uh, you know, the Vivo X70 Pro Plus and the iQoo 9 Pro also come with, you know, all of these apps pre-installed. So to conclude the video, here are some learnings that we had from this research. Firstly, the user has to be very careful while setting up a phone or else two different Samsung phone users will end up with two completely different Samsung phone experiences as far as bloatware apps are concerned. 25 to 40 is generally a good number of total pre-installed apps. Third party apps like Facebook, Netflix are mostly uninstallable, but first party apps are generally not, which is not a good thing, of course. Quite a few phones come with duplicate and redundant apps. For example, the Files app that I mentioned on OnePlus phones. A lot of these apps are merely extensions of features that should be you know, tucked away within the settings app. The number of bloatware apps on a phone is only brand dependent and doesn't change according to the price category of the phone. What I mean by that is you will see a similar number of pre-installed bloatware apps and sometimes even total pre-installed apps on phones that cost as much as the Realme GT2 Pro and phones that cost as less as the Realme 9 5G. There's really no distinction because it is what Realme decides to be pre-installed on their phones. And the vice versa, it's kind of true too. It's not like if you, uh, you know, buy the Samsung Galaxy N33 5G, you end up with more, uh, you know, pre-installed apps compared to the Galaxy S22. The situation is actually very same. It's again, dependent on Samsung. All right, I hope you guys found this video useful. It took a lot of effort for us to do this. Uh, and if you did like it, do comment in the comment section below and let us know what kind of videos would you like us to research on because we love doing these videos for you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time, keep tracking and stay safe.